Hey, this is Andrea Benton from Raising Boys TV, and last week I interviewed Dana Falk. She came out with an amazing cookbook. It's called The Hungry Fans Game Day Cookbook. And when I interviewed her, we had all kinds of technical trouble, and at the end of the day, when we finally got things to work, and then I reviewed the video, her face was all smushed and crazy. So, this is the conversation that we had. It's the audio, and then I've put in some slides, so enjoy. Bye! Hey, this is Andrea Benton from Raising Boys TV, and I am super excited today, even though I have a head cold and I feel like my head is going to explode because I am talking about food, but I'm actually going to be talking about um, food for year and soccer season, hockey end of season wrap ups um, with Dana Falk. And Dana hey, came out with this amazing cookbook. It's called The Hungry Fans. Wait, did I say that right? The Hungry Fans yep. Game Day Cookbook, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so. Yay! Look, there it is! <laughs> so that's the cookbook that Dana has published, and we're just going to have a conversation about um, and get her perspective on, <laughs> love it, get her perspective on um, some tips and suggestions for moms, dads, and just general parents on how we can make our year end, um, end of season parties better or just, you know, add a little flavor because I know. Um, Dana's really big on tailgating parties and NFL Super Bowl stuff, and she's got some really innovative ideas on just to kind of put a little pizzazz into um, those types of activities. Yes, I can definitely give you some good ideas, or at least try to, and you can take <laughs> them and run with them if you'd like, or you could say they're terrible and we're just going to order pizza. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, I'm down with pizza. Pizza and boys are, is perfect, but... I want to raise the bar a little bit above pizza. So what are some things that you would recommend? So one of the things that I really like to recommend to people, particularly people who have kids, is that if you can make the party, particularly the food part of the party, which is sort of like the heart of the party because food is so social, interactive, it's better for kids. Okay. So really easy ways to do this are to set up, like make it yourself, bars, if you will. So like tacos, set out all of the different ingredients, toppings, and let everybody sort of just make their own tacos. So you can have like beef and chicken, or you could have, you know, if you need a vegetarian option, maybe just beans, you set out your tortillas, um, and then cheese and sour cream and guacamole and salsa, and let people sort of just make their own. You can do the same thing with burgers. You can do the same thing with hot dogs, which I realize like, okay, tacos, burgers, and hot dogs, like been there, done that. But you can totally let people make it their own and then it's more interesting. Okay, cool. So like when I make a hot dog, I don't really eat a lot of hot dogs, but when I do eat hot dogs, um, I like to, I actually like to put um, potato chips on top of my hot dog. Seriously? So like, yeah, I crinkle them up so you get a little bit of a crunch, oh. but it, like it doesn't hurt, you know, your mouth. Yeah. So you have your hot dog and like, you know, mustard, ketchup, maybe a little sauerkraut, and then I sprinkle potato chips. And you could totally even have, I put it on my burgers too. Really? So, yeah, they're delicious. They give it crunch. That's um, awesome. So those are some things that you can do. Um, even if you did want to order in pizza, you could do the same thing. You might, you know, order in the pizza and save the baking part, but you could totally have a bunch of toppings set out that people could you know, make the pizza their own. And that way you're not worried about, oh my gosh, do we have enough veggie pizzas? Do we have enough yeah. pepperoni? But you can have all of that at home. Yeah. And it also allows you to sort of better control what your kids are eating. So, you know, if you want to saute the vegetables, maybe you saute them in olive oil, which is better for you than butter or vegetable uh, oil. Cause you don't know what they're using at the, um, at the pizza place. Although yeah. generally they usually just put them right on the pizza. But that said, I'm really just a fan of letting kids sort of decorate their own food, but yeah. you can control what they're eating by what you put out. What can put out, yeah. Okay, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, and then for adults, like, you know, I would say there's some recipes of mine that I have, um, which I realize March is probably not the best time, but um, you could do it with other fruits. I have a, um, a watermelon cooler I really like to make, which is yeah. just basil, lemon juice, ice, and watermelon, and you make it like a smoothie. You could do it with other fruits. You could do it with apple. You could do it with, I don't love it with orange, but sort of just yummy, refreshing fruits. Yeah. Where it's sort of like an aid, like a, a fruit aid for kids. Okay. But 
grown-ups can totally take like a shot of vodka and put in their own <laughs> splash and make the party more fun for themselves. That's awesome. Love so, it. Yeah, there's a lot of different I mean, I'm not a big soda drinker. I don't really like soda. Yeah. I don't like people drinking soda. So I would rather make drinks that are fruit based or even vegetable based. I mean, you could totally make a fruit smoothie with some vegetables in it too to get your kids to eat it. Oh, true. Um, and they wouldn't even know, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, that's great. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun and they're colorful and they're cold, which I realize, you know, maybe March uh, in certain parts of this country or in Canada could also be cold and maybe you don't want a cold drink. But you could do a warm drink too. Yeah. Nothing stopping you. Oh yeah, I love to do. Um, I take pumpkin, and I make a puree, and I add in a little bit of maple syrup and some lemon juice and nutmeg and um, uh, cinnamon, yeah. and it's like yummy. It's like a pumpkin cider almost. Really. And then I put bourbon in when it's time for the grown folks. So, that's awesome okay that yeah. i'm gonna try that's awesome yeah you can also just buy the canned pumpkin you don't even have to i mean save yourself the time of roasting it yourself and just yeah. get the canned pumpkin and add it like i said it's really simple it's maple syrup for the sweetness yeah. lemon juice nutmeg cinnamon and anything else that you like if you like clove and you want that yeah. you know or allspice and you just puree it and if you need to add water to make it whatever texture you want yeah. for a drink do it Serve it warm, serve it cold, serve it over ice, serve it with bourbon, serve it with vodka. Nice. It's delicious. <laughs> okay, that's lo I love it. I love it. Well, and I yeah. think it's great, too, that we're really highlighting volunteers and parents because it's the parents that really volunteer, and they do so much at the end of the season. There's nothing like a little something extra in that drink because they yeah. go, through, yeah. go through the slog, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. And then when you have, like, you know, 25 seven-year-olds running around, you know. <laughs> not saying have a lot i'm just saying like a little bit might make your uh party yeah. experience a little bit more tolerable totally it just takes <laughs> that little edge off when you really want to poke yourself in the eye because they're yeah. all boys right or yeah in my totally. case they're all boys and they're all running around so yeah it takes that edge off yeah exactly just you know <laughs> little little my this is mommy's that one's yours exactly don't touch mommy's <laughs> Totally. Mommy's had some, you know, my, my husband likes to call it grandpa's medicine. Oh, perfect. A little bit of grandpa's medicine in it. So you enjoy yours. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. All right, cool. Well, those are three great tips. And I particularly like the, um, the pumpkin one. And I love the idea of um, getting the kids to kind of really make themselves their own so that they're in control. And again, I can monitor the situation and see what's happening. So I love it. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So that's awesome. Okay, so plug the book one more time. So this is the book. It's yummy recipes, 165 recipes for game day, whether you are um, celebrating the game day of your seven-year-old kid's soccer game yes, or the Super Bowl or the Stanley Cup Finals, whatever it is. Whatever. Uh, yes. These are great recipes for throwing a party at home, a watch party, or an end-of-season party. Um, and there's 140 recipes, I mean, I'm sorry, there's 165 recipes, 40 of which I've collected from professional athletes and Olympians as well. Wow. So you will find recipes from people like um, Michael Jordan and LeBron James and um, Boomer Sison, Andre Agassi. And there's actually a whole bunch of drinks in the back for the grown folks. And Excellent. a lot of them are um, in celebration of some hockey players. And there's actually one called the Detroit Red Wings. So... Oh, cool. Uh, All right. So there you go. That's awesome. <laughs> the, I love it. For our cool. friends upstairs, north of the border. North of uh, the border. Yeah, that's awesome. We are hockey yeah. fans for sure. All right. Yeah. Although I realize Detroit is in the United States, but for hockey It's okay. Fans, it's, they're part of the original six. We're all good. We're exactly. All good. Exactly. Yeah. So there's a little bit of it for everyone, and uh, you can find it in bookstores. You can also get it on Amazon um, and barnesandnoble.com. I think a a website called indiebound.com. Uh, I think you can also get it on walmart.com. Oh, all right, cool. I think. Not all totally right. sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. All so right, definitely no. check it out. That's awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for doing this. I'm Andrea Benton from Raising Voice TV, and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.